I don't know, trying to figure out where that would go uh, or what it would do that would be different because this strat is what I expected, but it's different. See how I did that? Brought those two things together. This was a Sweetwater uh, special edition from the custom shop there, GT11. GNT at 11. Uh, a roasted alder body, a roasted, uh, really pretty flamed maple neck. Um, one thing that I love that they did on this was put an adjustable uh, truss rod access at the headstock, like on some of the more modern fender things. It's a really good spot to put it. It's just, you know, it's just somebody was thinking. Somebody was thinking. 22 frets. Um, a lot of this guitar reminds me of the postmodern guitars that we've seen previously. One thing that's, that's different about the one I'm holding and some of the postmoderns, not that this is a postmodern, but you see what I'm saying, this does not have the contoured neck heel. Some folks find that a little wacky. Um, this does have staggered tuning heads. So uh, as we mentioned on the Eric Johnson guitar a while back, sorry, I had a, a string tree in my butterfly, a string tree in my throat. Uh, they don't need a string tree on this guitar because the, the E and the B are staggered. Again, somebody was thinking. Uh, other than that, pretty standard Stratness. Um, I've got a blend knob on my second tone where I'm able to include the neck pickup in my bridge sounds. So let's, you were listening to the neck. I'm, I'm running through a hand-wired Princeton. And I've got the animals. Um, Major Overdrive, he was my commanding officer, in uh, line with the Strat and the Princeton. So here we go, neck, neck. right to the bridge and blend that thing in. Here's straight, straight up bridge. smell the amp now. I know it's time to get it. It's, it's on because I can smell the amp. You know it's happening when you can smell your amp. Anyway, um, the neck is roasted. The body is roasted. 
They have removed some of the finish off the back of this neck. I can get around on this really easily. This is a slimmer profile than I would expect from something more vintage, so it's, it's kind of the more modern ovalish shape. Um, 22 frets, as I said, this is a slab board. Nice weight on this guitar and really, really lovely aging on it. But it's up on the website now. It's, uh, it's not that old. And it wants you to, uh, you know, it wants you to say, hey, that's it. That's mine. That's the one I want. Um, get in touch, and we're here to answer questions about it. But it probably won't be here that long, so I don't know. Somehow we, we, uh, we, 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 we're really having a lot of fun making these videos, so we're glad you're watching them. Thanks. Anyway, I'm going to go out on some drive again in the middle. haven't played the middle yet. Middle pickup. See you later. Mm -hmm.